still have some air in here. So I want to make sure that this tire is completely deflated. Right? Now I can sit here and, and try and deflate it all the way and see how far I can get and squeeze the tire. Or I can use a tool that's very similar to this and you can see that it's got these little grooves in it. What this is going to allow me to do is actually remove the valve out of the tube so that you can see now I'm not going to have any restriction as I squeeze this tire. Now the tire is sitting right on the bead so I want to make sure that I get it off the bead. See how I'm pushing it in there. Do the same to the other side. Now, you saw how I just tried to muscle that, right? I just kind of like really tried to squeeze all that and it became quite difficult. So, in order to get this tire off, it's dry right now. So what I need to do is somehow lubricate it. Now what I've got mixed in this little context lens solution is about 50% Dawn dishwashing liquid and some water. So I get, uh, and unlike what, um, pretty much like what you see at a uh, car dealership, so where they, well, they'll go in here and lubricate this up, right? But I'm gonna be pulling the tire off of this side. So, you know, put some juice in there. So I could use this. That's one method if you want it to uh, go a little bit cleaner. But what we found that works better is a silicone spray. The silicone spray will um, evaporate when you're done using it. Of course, you want to use it in a well-ventilated area. But I'm going to take it and get it in there. So when I go to remove this tire, first thing I want to do is I want to squeeze these two beads together. There's a V-shape on the inside of this rim and I want to get these two beads closest to that so you can see that as I start to pull that and I'm starting from the valve end I take my lever, my blue lever, and you see the shape of this lever here I'm going to reach into this and grab the edge right so you can see that I'm now coming over the edge then I'll place the tire perpendicular hold my thumb over it and move my hand forward working it You see how I'm keeping the tire edge over here, so that's why it's important that I keep my hand working it back and forth. And there you go, tire comes right off. Now the next step is to remove the inner tube. And since I don't have any air in this tube, it's going to make it a little bit easier. And then when I go to take the last part off, I want to just basically pull it over that edge. I'll take my tool here, help me get some leverage, and pull it apart. And here's the V you can see that I was working with to get these two beads. When I squoze them together, I was getting this part of the bead to sit in here. Otherwise, it's sitting on this edge, and I'll never get the tire off. So there you go. We removed the tire. So now we're going to put a new one on.